know, just like we've seen, angels are, you know, an important um, part of our walk with God. You know, the, the, just like the scripture, one of the scripture we read in chapter one of the book of Hebrews, you know, verses 14, talking about the fact that they are all ministering spirits sent for to be, you know, ministers for those who shall be heirs of salvation. Angels are <clears throat> very much available around the saints. They are very much available around us. <laughs> whether or not you see them, whether or not you are aware of them, they are very much around us. And um, it is <laughs> to our own um, benefit that we understand their ministry so that we can effectively maximize, we can effectively release or enjoy their ministry. Now, it is um, God's responsibility, as the scripture has said, to release angels to us, to make them available to us, but it is our own responsibility to ensure that their ministry are functional. God will not make angels to function in your life. He his responsibility is to give them to us, but our responsibility is to enjoy them, to, to, to yes, make them functional, to enjoy them. So there are a lot of things that, you know, angels are assigned to do for us. But somehow, um, I want to talk a bit in this direction, you know, because um, it's, a, it's a minister's meeting, you know. Um, um, angels, if, if you take a very close and pay very close attention to the involvement of angels, the appearances of angels in the book of Revelation. Now, one of the things that stands out amongst a host of others is that angels are instrumental in, um, in activating spiritual seasons. You know, as, as, as ministers of the gospel, the assignment that, you know, you have been given, that we've been given to fulfill for God will be fulfilled within different spiritual seasons. That is why the things that God has called you to do, you will realize that um, the measure of knowledge that you have of what he's told you to do are in measures. All right? From this point, what you, the idea you have of what you've been sent to do is a glimpse. Now, that glimpse is just a token of the totality of what you've been assigned to fulfill. Now, the reason why God does not give, one of the reasons why God does not give us the complete picture of what he has called us to do is because the things he has assigned us to do are fulfilled within different seasons. So, the much you are allowed to see, all right, when you pray, you spend time with the Lord, you spend time in fellowship, the much you are allowed to see is within the season, all right, the face, spiritual face and season that you are at at that point in time. You can hardly see what God has assigned for you to do that is in another season that you have not yet entered into. Now that is why when you act and when you step out in faith to begin to fulfill, all right, to begin to obey God, the things you've been assigned to do, the things you've been sent to do, will now begin to unfold over a period of time by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, angels, as a minister, angels. Now, <laughs> you can't be a minister of the gospel and be effective in fulfilling your life's call if you do not understand the ministry of angels. Now, you, a lot of times people talk, talk about the fact that, okay, no, it's about the Holy Spirit, it's about the Holy Spirit. Now, angels operate under the supervision of the Holy Spirit. There are a number of times that the Holy Spirit wants to say something to you. He will not say it to you directly. Now, take a very good example, chapter 8 of the book of Acts. You know, after Philip had had a very powerful time, you know, in Samaria, all right, people were healed, the lame were set free, people got saved. It was an angel that was sent to him to go and meet the eunuch. 
from Ethiopia. It was not the Holy Spirit directly that spoke to him. It was an angel that the Holy Spirit used to lead Philip to embark on that next assignment. Now imagine if Philip all right, had rejected the instruction from that angel. Because it was after he had fulfilled that assignment that if we go by black and white, we would say that um, it was after he did that that Philip experienced his first translation. After he had fulfilled that, the face of that assignment, he experienced supernatural translation. <laughs> now imagine if he had ignored the angel. Imagine if he had seen the angel, received the word and rejected the instruction. Now, in our lives as believers, then as ministers of the gospel, at different points of spiritual transitions, we must understand that our callings are fulfilled within seasons. It's, this is very important, sirs and ma'am. This is very important. It is important we understand that our callings have varying expressions of spiritual seasons. Now, some people start out their work with God. They start out their callings. All right? And it's been 20 years. They are in the same initial season. 20 years. Some, they've been in ministry for 40 years. And they've not transited from one season. And they have the opinion that they are doing, they are working for God. Now, you now wonder why for many such people, ministry is difficult. Ministry is a burden. No, sirs and ma, ministry is supposed to be an adventure. Pleasure. Now, the only burden scripturally that ministers or God's children are supposed to carry are people. They are the only burdens. But when the work starts becoming a burden, something is wrong. You need to go back and check. Something. There are ministers who are just, they are enduring. Because one, there is nothing to go back to. Why some, you know, have come this far? Where am I going to start from? So you find out that the, the, the things that ought to be carried out by reason of heaven's help. By reason of heaven's help. And one of the expression of heaven's help to your callings and assignment are angels. Now when you look in the Old Testament, men, when you look at the lives of men and women who walked with God, all right, a major reason for the ease that they enjoyed is the ministry of angels. Look at, for example, Elijah. When Elijah was instrumental in giving words, all right, bringing a word that there was going to be famine. Now, the Bible says that God told him where to go, the brook of chariots. And reverence were sent. <laughs> reverence, yes, were sent to bring him food. Now, as soon as the water dried up, Further instructions came, all right, for him to go to Zarephath. Now, this was a man in court in ministry. <laughs> um, you see, within your calling, within what you've been now, it doesn't matter whether you're an apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher, within. That peculiar assignment, that purpose, you are still working for God. There are supernatural supply of God to enable you to fulfill that calling. And one of, it's not the only, one of that supernatural supply is angelic ministry. Now, if you're in ministry, 
I, I don't know why I'm talking like this. But you see, if you're in ministry, for example, and you are having to beg for money to do what you've been called to do, something has gone amiss. Now you see, as a believer, all right, you have angels assigned to you. All right? Now, as a believer, the responsibility of angels to you, all right, uh, has to do with um, your, 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 con- your spiritual concerns as a believer. But in the kingdom, as soon as you take on a spiritual assignment, all right, you go from just having a guardian angel to being assigned an angel of assignment. Now, when you make that transition, now, this is, you see, the angel assigned to believers, believers, what they are sent to do is as it relates to the concern of that person. That person. All right? What they supernaturally bring into your life are supplies that meet your need. Not our need. Your need. But as soon as a believer makes a transition, all right, into his life's calling, the angel released, all right, is given a supernatural capacity not to take care of his need as such. Because as soon as you take on spiritual callings in the spirit, you begin to live for another. You don't live for yourself anymore. That's what the vision is. Alright? So, the angel that is given to your life to partner with you in stewarding that purpose, alright, has the spiritual capacity to bring resource beyond your consumption. It doesn't matter how wide that ministry is. It doesn't matter the number of people. It doesn't matter how far you are to go. The supply, all right, meant to aid, meant to fund that work, is one of the responsibility of that angel. But a lot of times in ministry, people have rejected, ignored the ministry of angels and start running after people. People are never your source. If you function like that, you bring ridicule. That's why there's ridicule in the body of Christ. Ridicule. People are never your source. It doesn't matter how much money. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm talking in this direction. It doesn't matter how much money you need. It doesn't matter. You know, um, some weeks back, I was talking to a minister of the gospel and he's been in ministry for 27 years and he had certain, you know, complaints and all of that. I got on him through someone, then I was told to come and see him. One of the things he said is, a number of fellow ministers had told him that, <laughs> they've told him that his anointing is not for the area where the assembly is located. <laughs> you know, that if he had relocated, he probably would be doing better. And I said, no, sir, that's not true. Number one, the people you are pastoring in that area are not your source. Yes. <laughs> Whether they are very poor in that area. Now, that's, <laughs> that you are even concerned that you are not prospering because those are the caliber class of people you are reaching out, reaching to. is proof that you do not understand your message. They are not supposed to be a source of blessing to you. are As a minister, you are supposed to bring blessing. The Apostle Paul said, though we are poor, yet we are making many rich. You see, it doesn't matter where your assembly is if you're a pastor. You have no business envying a fellow pastor whose assembly is in VI. Whose assembly? It doesn't matter. See, Supply comes to you according to the need. It is not based on the people, the class, the caliber. What is it that you need? Of course, the people will be used. But supply will come according to what is needed. That's what the Bible says, Philippians 4.19. He will supply what? According to 
See, what we are saying is that is one of the function of angels. One of the function. One of the reasons why we've not enjoyed their ministry is because we've ignored them. When we have needs, we already have calculated sources. We know how many calls to make. We know who to call. We know sometimes, you see, these things are so bad that sometimes we've mastered how to manipulate people with our needs. You, you are not asking for the money, but that's the way you are saying it. And you see, each time you are doing it, you are, you have, you are, you are further shorting the supply of angels. You are not complaining. But you are practicing witchcraft. You know witchcraft, the Bible calls it one of the works of the flesh. You are practicing witchcraft. You are not asking for the money, but you are telling the person your need. You are mounting on due pressure. It happens in ministry. You are mounting on due pressure because you know there is no how you will let him know. <laughs> you have this need and he will not do anything about it. What are your angels doing? What are your angels doing? So, ministers have shut down the supply that is intended to fund their assignment from the kingdom economy of God. Your assignment all right, has its supply inside of it. It is angel's job to unlock it for you. There is a need in this hour for true repentance. True repentance. There is a need to repent. The ministry of angels have been ignored long enough. Long enough. Look at the supernatural supplies that manifested in Jesus' life when he walked the earth. How do you explain that? See, those things didn't happen because it was Jesus. We all, now, we, we, we say it that he didn't minister as God. But yet, we, there's a thinking inside of us that admits that those things happened because it was special. What about the rest of the apostles? Look at the supernatural intervention of angels in the rescue of Peter from prison. Now, why didn't that happen with James? Demand wasn't, demand was not laid for angels. That was why Herod went ahead and killed him. Probably when, he, when they arrested Peter, the people woke up. That is part of the function of your angel. Then I'll say this to him just, <laughs> see, as a minister, when you say, when you talk about the anointing, the anointing of God, the supply of angels are a part of that anointing. That's why a lot of times, when you minister in the anointing of your office, a lot of times, not necessarily every time, but a lot of times, most often than not, all right, there will always be an angelic manifestation around you because one of the functions of that angel, don't forget we talk about the angel of that calling, not your angel as a believer. The angel giving to you, see, giving to you to help you fulfill that assignment. To help you. Now, one of the things that that angel does is the effective stewardship of the anointing of God over your life. But I want to tie it up by talking about how another role that angels perform, which I mentioned earlier, they help us discern the seasons of God. That is one of the responsibilities of these angels assigned to you. They know the seasons of your calling. All right? They know the seasons of your calling. And as such, they have a responsibility to communicate that season or those seasons to you. That is why we notice that at different junctions of points of transition, 
angelic ministry tend to become more tangible. For example, those periods of time in your life where there was a spiritual need to pray more. You are sleeping, you feel a touch to wake up. It is not the Holy Ghost that is touching you. It is not. It is the angel of God. The Bible said when Jesus prayed, see when Jesus came to that point, because Jesus, before he went to the cross, there were several faces, all right, that he had to transit into, all right, before going to the cross. Now when he came to that last point of transition, from all he's done to going to the cross, angels were involved. The Bible says as he prayed, all right, he had prayed with so much sweat, spilling out like blood, Angels came, ministered to him, and what? He prayed the more. By reason of his human strength, he was tired. But as soon as angels ministered to him, because you see, at that point in time in his prayer, all right, the amount of spiritual sacrifice through prayer to completely yield to God's will before the cross can begin had not been attained. So the involvement of angels was necessary to help push him. Now remember what happened in the book of Daniel when Daniel had an encounter with this angel that was walking upon the sea. His friends didn't see, but they felt the presence and took off. Now Daniel, because of the amount of glory and spiritual energy coming out of this particular angel, he fell down. And he couldn't stand and the angel was like, stand up for to bring revelation of having sent. Now he said, another, of course we knew it was an angel. Another one came and touched him, impacted strength. Then he said to Daniel, Daniel, rise. Rise. Then Daniel said to this other angel, he said, now my Lord can speak because this my Lord has strengthened me. You see, the other angel that was sent was sent to bring revelation. But another angel was instrumental in aiding Daniel to receive that ministry. Now, if you study that scripture very carefully, we are only told the point in time in the event when that other angel came. It was this other angel that came. But we're not told the point in time when this other angel came. You know why? That other angel was Daniel's angel. So Daniel's angel aided Daniel in receiving that visitation. This is not now. It's, it's very good. The scripture, you know, that we went through. This, you see, the meaning of angel is not Old Testament. Look at the book of Genesis. Angels have long been in manifestation in people's life long before the Old Testament began, right? We all know it began. The Old began with who? With Moses. Long before there was a Moses, Abraham enjoyed angelic ministry. Jacob enjoyed angelic ministry. And long after Jesus was raised, all right, on account of which what? The new covenant began. Angelic ministry continued. They are a part of your life. Sons and more, it is time to stop the struggle. Stop the struggle. Let them do their job. It is time to open our lives to their ministry. There is something they've been given for us by the Holy Ghost. What they are, see the ministry they are assigned to bring is from the Holy Spirit. Yes. It is from the Holy Spirit. From the Holy Spirit. So, opening our lives to their ministry, alright, is to be in obedience to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Yes, we thank you, Jesus. 
We thank you, Jesus. We truly, truly lay aside. We lay aside the burdens. We lay aside the yokes. We take on your yoke. We take on your yoke that you said is easy. Your yoke that you said is easy. <laughs> we throw away the yoke that the world has put on us, that the fall has placed on us. And we put on, we take on like garments. Your yoke, your yoke. And we receive, we receive that which you've given. That which you've given through the ministry of angels to aid the work, to fund the work, to sponsor the assignment. We receive, we open, we open, we open our lives. We open our callings. We open our assignments. We surrender our purposes. We yield our visions. Our visions we yield to you. The vision is yours. The vision belongs to you. <coughs> it was yours before you gave it to us. And in addition, with the vision which you gave, we receive the supplies. 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 We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Yes, we thank you. We acknowledge the giftings. We acknowledge the anointing. Released along with our callings. Released along with our spiritual offices. Released into the purposes and assignments. We acknowledge, we acknowledge. We acknowledge. We acknowledge. We acknowledge. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. You know what? Something interesting is going on. There are angels here right now. Right now. Now, I, I don't mean one angel, too. I mean, there are angels of callings and offices here right now. Right now. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing burdens of depression. Ministers of the gospel have carried, being pulled out by these angels. I'm seeing burdens that have degenerated into health conditions. As a result of rejecting God's help. As a result of carrying the burden and ignoring heaven's supply. Being dealt with right now. Can you lift your hands to God everyone? Yes! We bask in the presence of your heavenly help. We bask in the presence of your kingdom supply. We bask. We bask. We acknowledge they belong to us. We acknowledge they've been sent to us. We acknowledge. Shagada Gasukata. Shagada Gasukata Nagada. Shagada Gasukata Gah. Shagada Gasukata Gah. Endo Gata Gasukata Gah. On Sangada Gasukata Gah. Rambo Sopota Liga Daga. On the Gasukata. On the Gasukata. Lande Gasukata. Lande Gede Gasukata Nagabashta. <laughs> oh, we thank you. <coughs> we thank you. You see, these angels are pulling out fiery darts. 
fiery darts, fiery darts of Satan, of the enemy, fiery darts, fiery darts, fiery darts. We thank you, Father. <laughs> we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. There are some of you here, up until this moment, you've always been conscious of like a weight or a load on you that has degenerated into depression, into hypertension. Breathe in and out. That burden is lifted now. That burden is lifted. There are some people here with ulcer, ulcer, ulcer. Ulcer has been healed right now. Ulcer has been healed. Healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Healed right now. Healed right now. Healed right now. There is someone with pain on your shoulders. Pain on your shoulder that, that, that grows to the back. Right now that thing is being removed. Like a veil of darkness is being pulled off your shoulders. Move your hands. Move your shoulders. You are healed right now. Healed. Shendo Atiga Gatuga Satala Diga Daga Mashunda Gada 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 Randa Gada 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 Mashimba Daba Suka Tala Gada Gada Maliba Suka Tala Gada 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 <laughs> oh, we thank you. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Very major transitions are being facilitated right now. Major transitions. Some, you've had visions of certain aspects of God's calling for your life. But I haven't come into the fulfillment of it. There are some of you right now, the Lord has spoken to you before. I'm giving an example. Has spoken to you about before about a healing ministry, a healing calling, a healing assignment. Right now, watch it, recognize it. You are gradually beginning to feel sensations. You are feeling sensations of the manifestation of the healing gift, the healing anointing. God's word is turning into reality right now. God's word is becoming flesh. Becoming flesh. There are some of you, God has given you words, given you visions of very strong prophetic expressions. Very strong prophetic assignments. Right now, the prophetic giftings are welling up. They are welling up. They are welling up. Gadgets, weapons, oppressions, giftings of the next phase of God's calling are being turned on. Being turned on. Being turned on. Shagadaga Sukata. Vekoto. Inangadaga Sukata. Shata gadaga, shakata gadaga daga, shakata li gadaga, mashiba tala bada bada bari bada bash. Just stay conscious. You are see something is happening over you, <laughs> over you. Shante genge sukata gadaga, 
Endo gondo si pati la daba. La bo su pata la daba shikata. Le bobondo alisa kata. Le bobondo atino makuba sata li adabash. Me li bobondo sakata. Me li bobosu kata. Can you lift your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost here? Pray in the Holy Ghost here. Pray the Holy Ghost. Shanda gada. Shanda gada. Shanda gada. Shanda gada. La baba supata la daba. La baba supata la daba. La baba supata la daba. Reba bonsha. Reba bonsha. Reba bonsha. Reba bonsha. Shanda <laughs> Shanda gada ga sukata Endo gada ga sukata gada ga En shanga gada sukata gada ga En shanga gada sukata gada ga En shanga gada sukata gada ga Mashima nando ro po de 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 Ino no nda ga sukata Inononda gasuka taga daga 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 Randa gada gasuka taga daga 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 Randa basu patana daba 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 Enononda gotoga dogo Ande getoga go 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 Anda gotoga go 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 Iba supatana daba Enononda gasuka tala gadaga Labo bando sopata Aniga gado gosuka ta Lande ma supatana daba shta Rendo kodo, rendo kodo 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 kodo, rendo kodo 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 kodo, rendo kodo 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 sukata, rendo kodo 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 sukata ga, rendo kodo 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 sukata, anda kata ga da ga da ga da ga da ga, laba banda, batode, 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 ita la ga da ga sukata. Anda gada 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 Bashiba nanda gada gada Laba banda Ashila banda Ashila banda Ashila banda Ashila banda Shande ke doko doko Endo gondo go siba daba daba Lambo siba tala daba Faces are opening. <laughs> new faces are opening. <laughs> oh, oh, new faces are opening up. Opening up. 
opening up by the power of God's Spirit. By the power of God's Spirit. New faces are opening up. Opening up. <laughs> opening up. Opening up. Opening up. Opening up. You see, that heaviness that was once felt over your calling, over your assignment, like a garment is being rolled away. <laughs> oh, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. New kind of utterance, new depth of utterance to make known the mystery of the living Christ. Oh, new depth of utterance with precision and accuracy. With precision and accuracy to bring forth the unveilings of the dimension of the living Christ. And are coming about. They are coming about. <laughs> they are not coming about. They are not coming about. We thank you. We thank you. <laughs> we thank you. We thank you. See, there are some of you here. Your angels, your angels have their hands placed on your shoulders right now. Placed on your shoulders. Placed on your shoulders. You are feeling waves of the anointing roll down from your shoulders. Waves of power. Waves of power. Waves of power. Roll down from your shoulders to your feet and back up and down and back up and down. Shanda gada ga super tele de bosh. We thank you. We thank you. <laughs> we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. <laughs> New dimensions in the prophetic is turning on. New dimensions of the evangelistic is turning on. New dimensions within the teaching gift of Jesus is turning on. New dimension. New dimension for the pastoral callings are turning about, have been turned on like a switch. Like a switch. Like a switch. Like a switch. <laughs> we praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. <laughs> we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we praise you. We praise you. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 You see, the Spirit of the Lord is speaking strongly. There are some of you here, the Lord is having me to say this to you. He's saying, accept your office. 
accept your office. Come into, come into your calling. Come into your annoying thing. There are some of you here, you've been operating and functioning an office that's not God's plan for you. But the Lord is saying, accept your office. It's my plan for you. It is from the place from whence you are supposed to serve my body. Accept. You've been rejecting it. Some have rejected in their thoughts. Why some have rejected by attempting to fulfill another office, to stand in another office. But the Lord is saying, accept. Accept my calling. Accept my office for you. <laughs> We thank you. <laughs> we thank you. <laughs> burdens, burdens of finance, <laughs> burdens, yokes of finance are being rolled away right now. <laughs> you were not sent to fund yourself. You were not sent to finance the work. The spirit of the Lord is causing bodies, yokes to shatter. Shattering by the spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. <laughs> By the Spirit of God. <laughs> By the Spirit of God. <laughs> Things have been arranged. A divine arrangement of God. A divine arrangement. Shagadagashuka. Rengo dogo sukata Enongo dogo sukata gana gadagas Randa gadagadagas Janda gadagada basupata lada badaba Endo gombo supata Endo bondo sukata gadaga Endo go sukata gadaga sukata lada Eno nondo Inan shakata lakina gasusu prede yadagas. Rendo godo godo. Landa gadagasuka taga dagadagas. Meshuba nan shakata liga nagas. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you. 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 Oh, shagada gada gada gada. Shanda gada gasuka taga daga daga. Shenanondo gasuka taga daga daga. Enanondo gondo gondo gondo. For the suddenness, the suddenness of the God kind, the suddenness of the God kind, the suddenness of the God kind, the winds for the winds of my spirit. Shall cause supernatural suddenly to come about. <laughs> suddenly, suddenly it shall come about. <laughs> suddenly it shall come about. Suddenly it shall come about. Because I'm causing, as it were, your sail to be filled with the winds of my spirit. I am causing you to come into a place of new awareness. New awareness of the God kind. <laughs> we praise you. We praise you. We 
praise you, Jesus. We praise you. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you. 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 We praise you, Father. We thank you. 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 We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. You see, so much is going on. Now, there, is, there is someone here, minister of the gospel. As a result of the extension of certain assault against you. You know this very strongly. As a result, there's been for some time now an ongoing health challenge with your wife. With your wife back at home. You see, why God is working in your life right now here, there is also an, an extension of the divine to your wife. There is healing coming to her now. Healing is coming to her right now. <laughs> you are going back home. You are returning back home to, to meet a hale and hearty wife. A healed wife. <laughs> we thank you, Jesus. <laughs> we thank you, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We praise you, Jesus. We lay hold of the joy of serving you. We embrace the liberty the freedom the joy and delight of saving you <laughs> thank you Jesus thank you Jesus we praise you We praise you, we praise you, we praise you. We praise you, Father. We praise you. We praise you, Jesus. Just lift your hands and thank him. How we love you, Jesus. 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 For the nations, for the nations now open in unprecedented way. For the doors of the nation, the doors of the nations are now opened to you, opened to you. The doors of the nations, 
in our unprecedented ways now opened to you. We praise you, Jesus. Just thank him. Thank him. Thank him. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We praise you, Jesus.